a four-day ceasefire between Israel and Hamas began Friday, allowing sorely needed aid to start flowing into Gaza and setting the state for the release of dozens of hostages held by militants in Gaza and Palestinians imprisoned in Israel. There were no reports of fighting in the hours after the truce began. The deal has offered some relief for Gaza's two-plus million people, who have endured weeks of Israeli bombardment and dwindling supplies of basic necessities, as well as for families in Israel worried about loved ones taken captive during Hamas' October 7 attack. Short News has the latest from Jerusalem on the temporary truce and what is expected to happen now that it is in effect. Four-day pause in fighting began in Gaza as part of an agreement between Hamas and Israel. In total, 13 Israeli captives, 10 Thai citizens and one Filipino were released from Gaza, 39 Palestinian women and child prisoners were also freed from Israeli jails. Hamas is expected to release 50 Israeli captives over the four days, with Israel releasing 150 Palestinian detainees, the agreement could potentially be extended. Israel said people not going north of Gaza fight is not over yet. UN has called for the truce to lead to a lasting ceasefire, with officials warning that Palestinians in Gaza face dire humanitarian conditions. This channel needs your help to keep more news and what happening